talk about it. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah.
For the, for the actually, you don't need a fiddle for the for the lesson of to to carry over the orchestra. <laughs>
there is a pause, yeah. which of course is much easier yeah. than to go up. Yeah. yeah, the idea is that the, the bass should sound powerful, but... but This man to play did. like that and to understand like that. You really have to be But well, then we project it. Then they hear the people here. I not everybody has to agree with that because some people do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Excitement. <laughs> yes, 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 yeah. They don't understand it. it well, they're like happy that. it's over. Yes. For a while, anyway. Yes, that it goes right. So what the, what do you see in the end, end and to the soil? It's a sadness and then oh. com complete Most sadness. Tragic, tragic, tra piece. tragic piece and, yes. and so wise at the end, there's so much wisdom and like I Why wonder was he so sad? I don't know. You have he, so many children had such a good life. Yeah. What was it? Well he had this inborn wisdom that he came with. Tragedy. Okay. Tra tragic. Yes. Tragedy that he, he brought with him and this well, feeling for We all know everything is in the D minor. Why did Brahms uh, 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 compose the concerto in D? Yeah. Except well, the last uh, I mean the last movement is not so sad. But it's yeah. still always this. Sadness. But, but then it goes into the mind. You know I played on the D string? Yes. You know why? Because I don't want to change the sound too many times. It's a great idea. some people do. You know, the, there is a change of tempo here. It's too anima. And you are not doing it. And I love it. You do. What do you think? Is it deliberate or subconscious? 
It's well, it's such a slight change of, of that. But I like I, it. It's, it is so lyrical. Yes. yes. I, I think uh, very uh, often Brahms refers to animato as more feeling <coughs> and propellant of yeah, the phrase. Yeah, more the character rather than because, the And it certainly doesn't have to start. So it's just like and then it goes, it just flies. But you maintained the same tempo <coughs> and it was so beautiful. And I liked it. I don't know what else to tell you. you know, my <laughs> yes, and I, I even thought about it, my mic was to make a longer phrase. Into the next okay. phrase. I don't do this. That, with that, I, I would not agree. I prefer to separate these. Yeah. Can I ask you a favor? Can you play on your violin? I want to hear how it oh. sounds. Because you oh, that's much worse to play on my violin. <laughs> This no I have way. an excuse. Uh, how yeah, you, how do you yourself. like it? You see, I love it. You know, on this I have an excuse. It doesn't sound so good because <laughs> it's not my violin. Yeah. What excuse do I have now? I'm oh. in trouble. When I make your bow. I'm more free. the second movement, yes. Igor and Vesna. It's torture. Everybody becomes andante. Yes. But this is the tempo that you play.
use my own instrument. Oh yeah. <laughs> have yeah. no excuse. <laughs> you know? oh, what do you mean? You don't need, you don't need any excuses. But uh, but you know actually this size suits you also. This size. Can yeah. handle it. I I think the size suits. This you handle. Okay. You can handle. <laughs> I can manage this. Yeah. Okay. Do you like it? This is a good yes, one. Do you like this? Very comfortable. I, I, <laughs> You know, your in your, your kill, it's there's it's really wrong. needs re repair. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's right. It's not only the hair, but there's something uh, the yeah. from. Try, try this. Try this yeah. now. Try well. Let's try this one. It's, it's pick up. Pick up. She's almost ah. At the end of September, she's going to go to Poland, and then she's going to go to London. 
Yes, oh, that's it. And she plays at the National Gallery. Chisel, could you look up the date, please? The Morgan? date? Uh, October 5th. I don't... Uh, October Misha is coming with me. Yeah, yeah. October 5th. I, I don't... You know what I'm going to be playing then? And then we'll come in October. Okay. Huh? We should come tomorrow. I, I love that. I have to look at the schedule. You know what I'm going to be playing? The what? I think I told you what I fell in love with Rick. Oh, Schumann Sonata. Yes.
you want to play it? Yeah, me you too. Oh, oh, wow. It's phenomenal. Yeah. You should play it. I would love to play it. Ignored. I would love yes, to play it. Yes, exactly. Ida, he's going to ask you, uh, in, let's say in, in, in your younger days, did, did, did people play this piece a lot? I never did. I never did. I didn't even know of its existence. People, so it days. hasn't been played. Not at all. what it does to me when I stop and people don't realize that well you know I'm talking about people not musicians the pauses they don't do any pauses yeah. it's a breath like, like yes. singing they play <laughs> because they think it's boring if you have rest there yeah. You know, it's so funny. Is but that what it, 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 why? I don't know. I'm guessing. But you know, it's the same with uh, with the Schumann piece. Yeah. The the fairy tales. That the you one you played. played? Yeah. Yes. The yes. one that's not played. It's play it again. It is for me. so easy. Only I don't have my viola. It's on the viola. Try it on the violin. Ah. Uh, Impossible. No. 
<laughs> you can't? No, it's a different thing completely. But it's, it's, it's on the viola. Isn't it a great piece? Oh. Yeah. How does it It's such poetry. melancholy and such such poetry. Heart, yeah. Do you play the concerto? Schumann, no, I know this. This is his last piece. No, what am I? See what I was doing? Playing the sonata. Yeah. His symphonies are also very easy to underestimate and uh, very easy to play badly. Schumann is the composer that is so easy to, 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 to spoil. spoil. Yes. Yeah. The, the jam, you have to have great tools, great controls right. on any instrument to play it right. If it's not right, it's terrible. I think the time will come when people will play more Schumann. You know, string music because because it's just uh, absolutely underrated. You know, when we, an orchestra, for instance, invites a conductor, nobody wants to conduct Schumann. Schumann considered uh, to play. It's a, it's a kiss of death for yeah. a conductor it's very difficult. in his relationship with orchestra because it's the most difficult thing. The way it's written, it's it's hidden it's under this. The orchestration is very difficult. The balances, the work are very, very difficult. So it's the same. It's so who was the Schumann, do you think, conductor who would have done justice? Well, the person, first, Giulini was mm -hmm. great, great. I'm the, surprised. And yeah. Italian, of all people. Yes. But yeah. he was the mo one of the more philosophical and, and deep, heartfelt, uh, you know, my father was an artist painter, as I know, but he liked to play a little bit cello. As an amateur, he loved, I mean, he was a lost, born, genius musician, because his love was the violin. But you know, his uh, parents were very orthodox, and they thought a, a violinist only played the Jewish klezmer wedding. Oh, of course. Yeah. So they wouldn't allow it. He, he, uh, he stole, almost, a violin from a peasant in little city of Helm, where he lived, where I was also born, even a, bi a smaller village, and his father called him and broke it into little pieces. Oh, oh this is so but sad. So he it's such a sad story. After that, my sister started to play because he gave it to her, the violin, and then I said, I'm sorry. That's a little bit mistake. That's yeah. a little mistake. Yeah. I'm the violinist here. Yeah. So my mother was singing something, and she said, don't touch your sister's violin. I was three and a half, mm -hmm. because she was already eight. You will uh, drop it and break it. And I said, no, I won't. And she said, no. And I said, yes. And I said, yes. And she said, no. 
<laughs> and I think I started to play this. I said, right. That's a good <laughs> joke. My teacher, Mikhailovich, died long ago in Mombasa. Then there was Scar Flash. So I said, okay, fine. My first teacher. What's her name? Esther Greenbaum. Oy vey. I said, oy vey. It's true. She's alive. Yes, she's coming to your concert tomorrow. Wow. And she came. Isn't that something? Yes. Oh, we are in touch ever since. Let me put on my clothes. Let me get dressed. Well, you no, I don't you need you. Need help? No, no. not yet. No. Okay. I, yeah. But it's a good thing to be musicians. We can express something. Yeah. All the, I think probably it's the saddest thing. Everything is, a, as I say, imitation of life. Except music. 
the composer, every note belongs to the spirit of the, I mean, composition. That's true. Nobody can imitate anything. Well, except for... Oh, for imitation. imitation. For imitation. But I'm talking about the, 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 the original the composition yeah. Yeah. Of, of the composer. Not the Impressionists. Yes. Uh -huh. Impressionists are the only ones yes. who imitate nature. But isn't that something? Um, yeah. It, yeah, the, but the you know, I mean, this I can't get over the doesn't sound worse than mine. It sounds... You, you like, okay, I'm worse. No, you, what have, do you, you think? have. You have. Your violin yeah. has perhaps some richness of the of the G and D that maybe this doesn't, but you know what I attribute? I'm not so sure. Those are Eva Perazzi strings and I hate them. And I it also like has Eva Perazzi strings. No, those she, are dominant. No, Eva Perazzi. Eva Perazzi? You like your they have their own con concept. And I'll tell you, I have a reason for it. Okay. You might disagree, which won't bother me at all, because we are all individuals, and we, we look at things differently. Then I'll tell you why I play the way I play. We have the orchestra. <laughs> part because it's like an overture to what comes mm -hmm. really. Absolutely is, makes sense. But Absolutely. nobody does it. Absolutely. <laughs> Frank Cooper's class, you're going to play, play a little bit of the Paganini. Oh, oh. 
Yeah, but you, I want you to eat a little bit. Okay, what, what are we making play? Yes, no, no, for Frank Cooper. Either you play. I never play, but what, why don't you come? I can't, I have to pick up uh, some yeah, little. Yeah, we have to pick up some little. No, either. Coming. But the way, what you play this. What you play, you play like? this. One Just, one. but you play oh, it for me you over the phone. I'll play this. Ah, that is. I'll try. Let me practice a little. Practice. Also, violinists do this. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. The rhythm is, is fascinating here. Like piano.
calls this. But this is, yes, more difficult. <laughs> the caprices maybe just maybe that he just wants the youngsters or I don't know who to, to have a taste what it what Paganini is. Yeah. You know for yeah. instance the one I used to play as an uncle was this maybe I'll do that. And what else did I play Paganini? Not much. Did you play the second moment of the concerto? It's so beautiful. I played it, but... Yasha. <laughs> 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 
son. Yes. Yeah. He was the one who could do them. Yes, of course. 